going on. Those are some really good instincts, my you good shit hiding behind that wall. What? What were they? Those are some really good instincts. They went to that room. Maybe I should. It's amazing how fast you can make me just wish I didn't say you had good instincts. Because there's no way a person like you who just hid behind the wall fearing them wants to now go into the room they just went in just to have a look. Like, bro, this is why everyone gonna die, bro. What is good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, H.O. Blaze. I am sorry I've been gone for so long. I know it's been a few weeks. Uh, things got busy with school. Uh, I had to do a little bit of traveling. Um, you know, some other things. But, hey, look, I'm back now. I even got a new mic because my other one, you know, the one that just came up, kept falling off. Wait a minute, wait a minute. All right, what I got you know, on the side? Yeah, so I got a new one of those now. It's uh, it's, it's kind of it's like the, it's the Turtle Beach headphones you get at Walmart, bro. It's, it looked good. It looked nice. Um, I'm about to try it on for the first time today. Um, but yeah, bro, it, it's it's been a pretty busy couple of weeks, man. A lot of things are uh, are changing. A lot of things are in motion too. Um, but the most important thing is I am back. I hope your guys' days are going well right now. I hope everything has been very good fortune for you guys, you know, as it is kind of for me right now. So, today, we're going to be playing Corpse Party. That's right, we're getting back into it. This is part, what is it, part four, I think? So last I remember when we were in the game, um, it was the brother and the sister, y Yotoshi... And Yuki? Bro, don't, don't criticize me if I got the name wrong. But I believe it was those two. And we ended up going to the next hall, the next like school building over, which I didn't even know that existed. And basically, a lot happened. You know, they got separated for a little. They got separated at some point. And we ran into a new character who, all in all, is a psychopath. Like, bro, kicked another survivor in like he kicked him through a hole like he kicked them to the abyss who is this guy <laughs> below like through the floorboards i don't know how else to say it and i didn't expect that from brian at all since he actually was helping us out quite a bit and he let yuki or the the sister girl or whatever she, he let her go into the the bathroom that was warded off just to go to the bathroom. I don't know why, but if I were her, I would not go into a bathroom that was just warded off from like evil spirits and stuff. Like that's that's not me. I wouldn't do that. So a lot's happened so far. I don't know who we're gonna be next, but we're gonna see where things take us. So without further ado, let's get in the mix. Grab yourself a snack or something because I've tried editing these videos to make it less than like 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> but that's just not happening, bro. So grab a snack because it's going to get pretty busy. I forgot. I forgot to do that. <laughs> which, which way is the right side? Oh. Watch my big ass head break this, break these headphones, bro. Try and put this thing on the first time. I'll be so. <laughs> Mom, Mayu, Mayu. What? Where are we now? What, the... what is it? What is it, Mom? I'm running late. This is your 
your last day at Kisaragi. Make sure you say your goodbyes and have a lot of fun with your friends, okay? What is wrong with the mom? Look, the way she's talking, like it's slow. Like why? Why are you talking that slow to your to your daughter, especially on her last day of school? You should be excited. And why she look like that? Like she been up all night. Look at her face, like, dude. Why does every character cry? Okay. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Let's keep it going. Shigeni. Shig. Bro, you there? Miss Yuri? Shinazaki? Please don't bust out crying. I was just in the classroom with everybody taking down the festival decorations. God, where even is this? Actually, she's the first person right now we that we are that is actually by herself. This is gonna be interesting. Right. What? No. No. Please. No no no. No 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 no. Grumble, my stomach is in bad shape too. Why does stress hard give me indigestion? Oh lord. What's going on? Those are some really good instincts, my you good shit hiding behind that wall. What? What were they? Those are some really good instincts. They went into that room. Maybe I should... It's amazing how fast you can make me just wish I didn't say you had good instincts. Because there's no way a person like you who just hid behind the wall fearing them wants to now go into the room they just went in just to have a look. Like... Bro, this is why everyone gonna die, bro. The last time I remember we were Satoshi, he was talking to um, the chick that was dead, but is still roaming around. And they had talked about why they're in this situation in the first place. And apparently it's because someone messed up the chant, either by saying it too many times or too little or something like that. And because of that, Bros are now in this situation. I wasn't ready for that. Okay. Someone saying mom. Oh, that was in the right ear. It's a little weird. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Why would you want to kill your mom? That's terrible. She brought you into this world. Unless you're not of this world anymore. Check everything, check everything, check everything. Oh, yep, we need that. We need that. Yep, yep, yep. We need that. I don't know what that is. Let's. Mm, I hope it doesn't go to the other side of the room like that wood board did. Amazing. With the light jumping back and forth like that, I'll never be able to get the object by myself. Someone else will have to let me in. Well, that's great because that means we're gonna run into someone else who's gonna be able to help us grab that. But we're okay. Let's talk to it. I'll kill you. I'll curse you. Hurt so much. I hate you, sister. I think we talked to this one before. It's a horribly decayed course with absolutely rancid odor. Damn. The word rancid. That's a, that's a strong word for smelly. 
What is the... That is the television, isn't it? I did find that video cassette in the other building. Yeah, we did have one. Satoshi removes the tape from his bag and rereads the label. Kibiki Research Data 2005-11-19. It might hold some important information. If only we had uh, some way of watching it. Fingers crossed, I guess. I don't know if I would want to go into that room because why is it locked and why is there a TV in there? So we're going to keep it moving here. We do have to come back this way to get that piece. Yeah, I don't know. Can we like keep the phone though? I can't just leave it though. Yup, good man, good man. Naomi's cell phone. Yeah, it seems like it's out of there. Let's go up top. That's crazy though. I thought we were gonna be in the same room as Seiko. I mean, as Naomi. But we. Bro, I'm leaving. I'm sorry, I stopped all... My train of thought immediately went to leave. Like, went up in that... Went up in that dark area, bro. And I just started hearing... N -n 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 in my ears. And I'm like... And it's so damn dark. Like, bro, I'm not going for it. I'm not going for it. You... <laughs> well, I guess I don't have a choice, do I? What just happened? Is she did she try to is she trying to kill herself? Is it this one? You sense a presence behind the stall door. Bro, please get in there. Kick in the door, why would you walk away? happened Naomi dumbass what the hell are you doing yes yeah, save her save her is, is the bucket right there what do I do what do I do find object to stand on try to hold her what do we do what do we do I don't I don't I don't, I don't know the last time we went for an object the Seiko died um it's too damn dark to find an object shit try and hold her So he's loosening the loop around her neck. Hoist her up on her shoulders. Hoist her up on your shoulders. Push her against the wall. Hoist her up on your, on your shoulders. Hold on. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Oh, I'm so glad we made the right choice. Woo, okay. Good, she's breathing. Naomi, stay with me. I'm going to loosen that rope. Reach behind to unfasten. Stand on bucket at feet. Ah! He shouldn't be able to reach up there from behind since. So, I'm just going to say, if I stand on the bucket, like, that's not going to do anything, right? It says reach behind to unfasten, so might as well just reach behind and unfasten, right? I can't see what I'm doing. Is this it? While still supporting Naomi's shoulders with her upper body drooping between the back wall of the bathroom and his head. Said so she reached behind him and fiddled with the knots at the base of the noose. Somehow or another, he managed to loosen the rope's grip. Okay. Okay. Don't scare me like that. I feel like I, I did something wrong. So what would have happened if we stood on the... On the... On the... On the bucket? Naomi, hey. You're alright now. Breathe. Naomi definitely was going through it alone. 
Oof. Pant wheeze. <coughs> cough, cough, choke, wheeze. Yes, you could. So, you could cook you to do it. That's it. Easy now. Just like that. Breathe in and breathe out. Slow and steady wins the race. Oh yeah, she's definitely gonna think she's in a dream now. Cause Naomi has a crush on Satoshi. That's me. Are you alright? You had me scared there for a minute. Oh no, not the crying, please. What's wrong? Are you in pain? Oh, the hell. Get dumbass. Hick. Get here sooner next time. The sobs. Okay. I can, res I can respect this cry. He's... She's been alone for a minute. She needed someone. doing <laughs> you were trying to hang yourself so something might be wrong with you now let's see if I had a little sister of my own why are you laughing like that that's a, okay 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 so keys on me so this is the bra that kicked other random bra like through the hole in the floor for no random, like for no reason. Okay, now this makes sense. <coughs> Yuka is screaming. Oh lord. Because she went to that bathroom. Okay, so what is he gonna do to a person that's like his little sister? I don't, I don't get it. What's the matter, Yuka? They're all full. <laughs> so you still can't use the bathroom after all this time? They're all full, full with what? Oh. There are all people hanging. Who did this? Or did they do it themselves? Yo, what? The body inside is tuned to the stall. Anytime you open it, it slams. It's quite a stench. The body, yep. Yep. There's a student ID name tag on the floor outside. Mari. That's who I want to hang. Body inside. Junior school class, I can't remember the sentence name, so. Okay. So why was it warded off? It's originally coding some unidentified something. There's a compact mirror with sticky, bloody handprint all over it. Seems like a pretty modern design. Similar to what a lot of girls in my class use. Being trapped in here for a while. I wonder how the owner's face must have looked the last time she took this thing out. Kizumi, I think you might take pleasure in that. Can we take that? Bro, we could use that for something. The lights are on her face and it's full of blood. Okay, so yeah, this. Okay, we need to leave. A great many lives ended in this room. Dude. Dude. <laughs> hey, I can't. What? Are you 
good, bro. That lightning is powerful. Poor little Yuka. With all those bodies in there, you'll never be able to relieve yourself. Are you? What's what's going on, bro? Shiver. So. Well then. Huh. Shall we be off? To where? My dear little sister. We just ran into a psycho. No joke. This dude is is very bad. At this point, I, actually, everyone's becoming a psycho. A letter on the ground. There's a crumpled note on the floor. There's one thing I've learned from all of this. The children are victims too. They're not at fault here. They're not the ones we should hate. Their murderer is the one who created this cycle of resentment and cruelty. Their murderer is our true enemy. But it's still the kids that are kicking our ass. So, I'ma hate all of them. Although the noise is still here, so maybe I did miss something. Oh, shit! Why? Why? What? I don't, I don't get it. What, what caused that to happen? Say, say, what? What's her name? Naho? Are you sure that's her? Okay, yeah, that's her. <laughs> You're a liar. 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 <laughs> this child spirit didn't give a crap about the killer's stupid repentance. Well, she didn't say that was the repentance. Let me back to into Moto. No. Isn't she the one that got splattered all over the wall? There ain't no coming back from that, boy. <laughs> Wait a minute. I thought Yoshiki died. I said it before and I'll say it again. Your voice really travels. Kishinuma. Hold on. What's going on here? You okay? Shinazaki? It... Bruh survived? You're one to ask what on earth happened to you? There's blood everywhere. Oh well. <clears throat> as soon as you turned the corner before, I got struck in the noggin from behind. Yo! I'm fine, don't worry. Don't know exactly where, but I was locked up in some gloomy little room. The child spirits were there, along with some big dude holding a hammer. Wait, the child spirits and the dude were together in the same room? How did you get here then? Well, after a while, well, after a little while in that room, I lost consciousness again, and then I woke up. I was in the first floor hallway. So, like, my boy's good. My boy, I thought just cheeky died. Yo, that's crazy. How do you eat that? But now I'm like dead ass confused. Why did the killer? knock him out and drag him into a room where the where him and all the other um, children were oh, instead of just killing him right there in the spot because bro with the glasses in the intro in the last vid got did mercilessly by the killer with the hammer like bro got killed off so I'm now I'm confused and like also he said he just um lost consciousness and woke up in the first floor hallway does this mean if you fall asleep and you wake up again you wake up in a different dimension because satoshi lost consciousness and woke up in a different place 
Alright, let's keep it moving. Right now, that can't be right because Naomi and Seiko fell asleep. Well, I think Naomi fell asleep in the nursery area. Oh, oh shit. That was dry. Naomi fell asleep, fell asleep in the nurse uh, room. The nurse's office. So, that can't be right. <coughs> so, did somebody carry you there? Either way, I'm just glad you're alright. I don't know how much more of this I can take. I don't want anybody else to die. Where the hell is the teacher? Yeah. <coughs> I am not mistaken. If each of those child spirits were to find peace, even if they had to be appeased one by one, then these closed spaces given shape by their bound souls should not be able to remain in existence. We let them hear the killer's regrets though, yeah we did. It. And it did nothing to help us. What kind of person are we dealing with here anyway? The man with the hammer who attacked you, he was their murderer. And yet he, they were all in the same room together. You serious? Bro, you could guess that. Come on now. It seems he's got a violent streak even in death as well. He harms the living indiscriminately. Yes, he does. So your first order of business should be to quell his wanton behavior. What? How are we supposed to do that? Based on my mentor's research, that antique doll you've got in your hand should be a good place to start. It belonged to him in life. He was given it by his mother, and reportedly, he relies on it to keep his mind leveled and his heart in balance. Really? Okay. I'm certain he must be looking for it. Don't tell me this bro's going on a killing rampage because he lost his little doll. Hold on, who is who's this mentor of yours? My personal affairs are none of your concern. Alright, you snapped. What's happening? Yeah, she's shaking the whole room. Sorry about that. You'll need to find that man's body or his remains at any rate. They should be in the school building somewhere, and if you find them and return the doll to their side, everything will be just fine. Is she have multi personality disorder or something? Your friend's death is your own fault. Where'd she just go? Did the glass disappear as well? What the hell was that all about? Can we really believe a word she just said? Her deaths, their deaths, their friend. Wait, what? What did she say? Maybe not, but it's as good as a place to start as any. Earlier, as I was passing through the first floor, the doll started crying, like weeping loudly. 
I sure didn't miss having that thing around. We might be able to use it like a tracking device. It could lead us right to the murderer's body. Either way, let's just keep moving, okay? Or can you? Wow. It's quite a bump you got. That was a lousy aim. But he still hit my head full force with the handle. If he'd been more accurate, it, I'd be a goner for sure. Why did he let you go? Damn child killer. If you're lucky. I just happen to have some cloth bandages with me. I'll see what I can do about dressing that one. Can we not talk about how Ayumi left his ass in a panic? Bro was about to die by himself. Okay, part of your prop closet, I take it. Because I should be thankful for your horror obsession after all. Okay. So, I don't know what that was. Oh, wait, did the door open? Shit. Okay, we gotta go to the nurse's office to check on Naomi. Let's do that. Uh, that wasn't there before. Someone's cell phone is lying on the ground. Pick it up. Actually, I don't want to, but might as well. Seiko's cell phone found in the hallway. Seems Seiko was writing a text message to Naomi when she dropped it. Interesting. Seiko seemed to have been in the middle of texting someone when she dropped her phone. The text entry window is still open. While confirming the phone's owner, Satoshi wound up inadvertently reading the whole thing. Sorry, Shinar, I really didn't mean to. I don't think now we should see this. Not now, at any rate. Can we see what's in it? Of course not. Okay. Well, I'm gonna trust your judgment, and we're not gonna let her see it. Thanks for this again. Would you mind waiting here for a sec? Yeah. No problem. Thank you, Naomi. Appreciate it. I wonder, like, can we get Naomi's perspective? Like, what, what happens? Like, does it does it move or? Oh no, it just it just stays there. Naomi, now grab it. Okay. Okay, it just teleported. Okay, got you. Custodian key. A blood red key labeled custodian's closet. What? Okay, custodian closet. This is it. Let's, let's see what's in there, bro. There can't just be a TV and there's got to be more in here. I'm curious though, like what's... That's really all that's in here. It turned off. What the? What's going on? Why is it so cold? Please just go. Turn around. Leave. We made a mistake. Something really smells. Something so Please leave. Can you, can you find a, a light switch anywhere? The light's not gonna work. I'll try. Oh, it's still just us two. Thank you. Stuff. Man, it does stink in here, and it's not not just mold, is it? Probably not. That's odd. What is? You can't just say something's odd and then say nothing. Not in this situation, Naomi. Like, what? 
Come on, bro. It's like deja vu. I could, I could, I could, I could swear, I, I could swear I've seen this room before. I mean, you got me, bro. I ain't never seen this room. It's an old beat up kettle. There's, there are oldy mold. There, there are old moldy tea leaves floating in the f stagnant water. Oh, so wait, tea leaves do get moldy, or is it just because they're in water? Every day up through November 18, 1975, is crossed off with the big X. What the hell was that? Inside the cabinet, there's a notebook labeled Night Guard Logbook and a few crumbled pieces of paper. Night Guard. Heave blank, blah blank, confinement blank, now taking applications. What? The sheets of paper contain what appears to be a seeming, a seemingly endless list of names. The letter is torn, however, making it impossible to confirm exactly what's written. Okay. An old fashioned space heater. Something sticky seems to have melted all over its surface. There's There are stains everywhere. Okay. There's a video 8 camera recorder lying on the top of the TV. Its cassette deck is empty. Its batteries also seem to have run out. However, as the LCD display isn't turning on. However, what's the LCD? What is, what is something this recent doing in a place like... like what is something this recent doing in a place this old? Maybe it was belonged to someone who was brought here like us. And why was the door locked? Yeah, that does make sense. There's no cord here to hook it up to the TV and it's out of battery, so it doesn't look like we'll be able to get much use out of it. Oh, still keeping it handy. You might run into batteries. I don't know, I see what that is at the bottom. That looks like a memoir. It's an old Japanese style Fusuma sliding door, presumably opening to a closet. It's torn and stained in equal measure throughout its surface. Something seems off about this closet. I get the feeling this is one door we shouldn't open. Understood! There's a magazine article from the publication called Strange But True, stories of the occult. It's a follow-up to a previous report. Read it. Do I really want to read? Oh, here we go. Strange but true. Stories of the occult. Chasing down the hidden paths of the cursed school building follow-up by Kui Kubiki. Oh, Let's talk about a bit more about Yoshizawa Yagi. I'll be honest, bro. Oh, this is about the psychopath, the teacher. Okay, the man was born, was a born instructor, pure and simple. He took up the mantle as soon as he could and performed his duties with peerless panache. But then the illness struck, and little by little, his whining personality gave way to pure instinct. He was slowly losing all sense of identity. Although the cause of his illness was unknown, its effects were anything but. Simply put, the good teacher had begun reverting to a childlike state. He began carrying an antique doll with him at all times, a memento from a long forgotten festival, perhaps, given to him by his late mother. His behavior during class degraded quickly, more often than not, his lectures would cease before the period's end, and he'd begin wailing mournfully. Finally, several months prior to the kidnapping and murder incident, incident Yoshi, Yoshikazu reached a point where he could no longer communicate his thoughts. He 
I thought he could still understand others. He became virtually incapable of forming words without intense focus. It sounded like bro had reverse amnesia. Well, whatever it is, like, you start losing your memory over time. Given all the evidence mounted against him, Yoshikazu Yanagihori was arrested on multiple counts of kidnapping, murder, and discretion of the dead. But due to his mental condition, he was never able to confess his involvement in those crimes, nor even properly discuss them with authorities. I thought that was, I think that's crazy how if you like commit crimes, but they deem it as more of a mental issue or something like that's not right with you in the head, that's why you did it, like you had no control, then your punishment actually won't be as severe, I believe. But we're going to keep going. Everything hinged on the testimony of the sole survivor, one Sachiko Shinozaki. Sachiko? Isn't. Age 7. Isn't that the name of the girl that the ritual was based off of? Sachiko? Like the charms? I could be tripping. Shinozaki Sachiko san. Doji Nanasei. In search of the truth behind the less scientific afflictions this incident spurred, I, of course, chose to follow the trail of this mysterious little girl. Good move. Those who have seen the infamous newspaper photos accompanying this story may remember Sachiko best as a girl with the strikingly unusual red dress. Oh! Oh, wait. It's hard enough for sympathy for someone so young for us to watch other children her age being tortured and killed one by one. I just, I just heard a knock. Oh, shit. Hello? Hello? Certainly, if I were to find Ms. Shinozaki insecure in an interview, there would be some real moral concerns about digging up such painful memories. But then again, she's been a, she's been a full grown and hopefully well adjusted adult for over 10 years at this point. By now, she should be able to look back upon these horrific events with some objectivity and give a more thorough account of what happened that day. We're going back in time. Oh, no. Reese, Reese, strategy. Shinozaki, oh. I'm impressed, Shinozaki. You're far stronger than I thought. Totally fearless, in fact. I was scared out of my mind. My brain is still struggling to make sense of all of this. The ghost is gone. Okay. Are you alright? You should dry your tears and blow your nose. What is that noise, bro? Is this the bed? No, what the hell? She... She used his shirt to blow her nose? Didn't I tell you before that you shouldn't say things like that? I mean, you're just trying to look out for you, like, you don't want, you know, if you're going to be walking around, you know, about to get killed by a ghost, at least you can look presentable, like, am I right? Okay. Okay, she's not normally like this. Okay. And 
Chiquito is weeping here. Go to where the floor collapsed, but then, but then it got better. Oh wait, wait! One step, Rooster. Ten paces. Fuck! Read that again. <laughs> Read that again. If I were, to, if this was real time, bro, and I was supposed to like pay attention, like I would have been died. Let me make sure that real quick. Just in case. Go to where the floor collapsed. It's better now. Is that in here? No, it can't be in here. Yeah, this is not the. 10 paces in here is not possible. So, where did the floor collapse? Oh shit! <coughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, my heart wasn't ready for that one. Floor here clearly collapsed previously. The gap seems to it. One to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Oh, here we go. One of the floorboards here is slightly raised, peering through the cracks. You can just barely make out something shiny in the dark recesses below. Try to pull it out. Of course. From beneath the floorboards, you managed to fish out a crank-like key that was a key that resembles the winder from an old-fashioned pocket watch. What the heck is this? Doesn't look like it would fit any door. I know where it goes. Ha ha! Actually, didn't that fit like the wall at some point? Go in there. We got up in here. Oh wow. It's got showers and everything. Oh lord. It hurts. She's bleeding. Did you feel something again? She is like connected with the spirit world. Another nose. It was just her nose, it's fine, but if a blood vessel bursts in her brain or something, <laughs> that's some far thinking. Yeah, Shizaki. Suck some tissues up your nose to stop the bleeding. I have some of my own, but since you got yours out already, I would be like, nah, use yours instead then. I need mine later. Yeah, go ahead. I think she's probably reach her limit. She needs to rest. Okay. Well, we gotta check out. We're gonna have to be very careful. This blood from my Yumi's nose. No matter how hard you shine, the water is coming out of the faucet. What about this one? It's broken. Yeah. Another bucket. Cram full of discarded underwear, all twisted up like wrung out of dish rags. We gotta be careful. What was that? Pool side. We're, we're by a pool? No running by the pool. 
I'm not running. Oh shit. Can't even see the other side of it with all the rain. Shiver, shudder. Alright, here it goes. Here goes what? Why don't I take the doll for a bit? You'll catch your death of cold out here. Go back inside. I can't even search. You just wait for me in the locker room. And what's going to happen if a ghost shows up again? Hmm? You think you'll be able to handle it? Okay. okay. Last time, you got your ass hit in the head. And you can come to my rescue. I would not let her go back in that that room. I don't trust that room. Okay, I gotta try and land a load as, as much as possible. Fair, fair. Now we gotta be careful. Oh, that pool looks terrible. Oh, this is the other side. Confirm all swimmers have vacated the pool before draining. Okay. There's a sign on the door that says pump room. The door is locked. Great. What is this like misty fog on the on the lower end of my screen? What the heck? That wasn't there before. It looks like there's a key lodged in the crack between two tiles. Try to dig it out. Yes! What key is it? Would you look at that? The pump room key. Nothing has ever came so easy before. I've had enough. Two minutes. Was that? There's no way. Come on, give me a break here. Get to the pump room key. We have we we got a timer. We need to get out. So yes, unlock it. Yes. The key was rusted and brittle that it instantly snapped as soon as it was turned. Fortunately, it was already done this job. Good stuff. We're still losing time. Oh my god. A crude label written on one piece of paper to device on a piece of paper tape attached to the device reads water pump right below it there's a slot for some sort of lever or handle we need a lever we need a lever we need a lever we need a lever the valve wheel is labeled drainage turn it yes the lever's in the pool something gets stuck in the drain did we drain the girl that's fine let's go outside and let's go get the um, the lever I'm pretty sure it's out there oh I was not expecting all these bot oh that's nasty bro no, she, that's Shino. Wait, what? Locker room. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> cough, cough, wheeze. Deep sigh. Good shit, you should be, because I clearly folded. Don't worry me like that. You called me out there, didn't you? She heard us call her? Nope. What? After that, I don't remember much else. She ran out there and forgot everything. Amazing. It's all this sickening green color, and my mouth is full of water. Oh my goodness. This is the work of this ghost again. Can't believe they can trick us so easily. There's got to be something in that pool. Talking about oh God, it's like algae or something. Yeah, you got algae in your tongue. It's not that easy. Yeah. I can't get rid of this horrible taste and I smell absolutely putrid. I hate this. You're, you're full for going out there. Oh shit. It's a small head bag stained with copious amounts of blood. It seems to have fallen from the spigot. An elementary school student's ID name tag is attached to it. Heavenly Host Elementary School, Class 1 6. Tokiko Tsuji. The bag is weird to contain a severed human tongue. Oh, that's nasty. It's a girl's name. Tokiyuka's tongue. Well, we know where she is since she kind of chased us. Give it back. The other ghost is headed this way. We have to run. Got it. Where do we go? I'm, I'm gonna save it. Weep, weep. Weep, weep. Where your where your friend was splattered. The floorboards beneath that wall. Right under her globby entrails. Uh an antique doll has no right to be saying globby entrails. That's so disrespectful. Where the floor dips and the blood pools. Drip, drop, drip, drop. What the f what is wrong with this dog? Smelly, smelly, icky, icky. Get in there good and dig it out. What is up with this dog, bro? Wow. Can we really trust this doll after after it laughs like that? Oh shit. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. 
Wow. That's where it is, and that's where we're going. What you mean? We can ever bring ourselves to get it. Are you kidding me, bro? She's gone. You know, get in there and like get in the floorboards, bro. There's someone there. Oh hell no. We cannot trust this dude. And our class rep. I'm very glad to see you both safe and sound. Wait, so he's able to transport dimensions as well? Sam Sam What happened? So sorry, so Oh yes, and I did briefly cross paths with Machida and his sister. He did? So you're okay too? So they're okay too. They are. Though, when I next ran into Machida's sister, it seemed she and her brother had parted ways. Um, Morishigi? What is that in your hand? What do you have in your hand? Where she appears to be grasping a blood soaked pouch in his hand. All oh, this. I found it under the floorboards in the hallway. Just up these stairs. You're gonna have to give that to us. Do you want it? Yes. I'm merely searching for a certain someone, so I have no need for charms at the present moment. You're searching for someone? Morishiki, did you mess up the chat on purpose earlier? Were you even. I don't even remember you, dog, to be honest. I just know you've been giving weird vibes. As with the others, there's a student ID name tag attached to the front. Well, I should be going. Is, is something wrong, class rep? You look like you've seen a ghost. Bruh is weird. But she just said we should all try to meet in classroom 1A. Oh. Oh. So, is he a good guy or a bad guy? I don't get it. There's a missing eye. All we got is a tongue. Is that going to be enough? To, what do we do? Pull out the tongue bag. The girl lowers her head and begins rocking slowly back and forth. Yuki. Kano. Yes. This is for you. It is. It is. I said no to the tongue. Offer the spirit Yuki's tongue. And you thank you very much. Oh, it is hers? I thought she was missing an eye. If all you were doing was missing a tongue, then you could have accepted the other tongue. I mean, how do you tell the difference between two tongues? I mean, they're... Okay, so... They're good now. So, this just leaves... Oh, the, is the girl in the... In the what? No, no more. Every time I talk to these girls, I feel like I'm getting closer to death, closer and closer to death myself. What that's like? I keep picturing how I look when I'm dead and I'm 
not even trying. But I mean, Yoshiki in the same position, man. He's holding it pretty well. He's holding it pretty well. I want to go home. This is how you go home. Come on. I'm gonna cheat that. Next one is mine now, okay. So just try to pull yourself to get. What? Please don't fall into the into the into the hole in the floor. This one's big too. What is that sound? Is that creaking? Cause it sounds terrible. Right, we need to help her, don't we? How the hell do we do that? Was I knocked out? Where am I? This looks like a very well put together place. Their classroom. No fooling. <laughs> Go ahead, check her out, Shinazaki. Hey, wake up. Come on, wake up already. Okay, she's waking up. Mari! <laughs> Okay, so they made it back. We're back for real. Is this really okay? This has to be a trick. It's really real. Check it out. Here's my desk. Mine too. It's right here. I can't believe it. It's true. We made it. We're home. We're home. <laughs> yeah, suck on that world. Suck on that world. Something's gotta be off. <laughs> Can we talk to her? No, this isn't right. I never thought I'd see home again. Something's wrong. <laughs> no Satoshi or Yui or anyone else, huh? Yeah, something's wrong. Where's everyone else? Shows our field of personal effects belong to class 3 9 primary and society teachers. Catherine. I would take that. Some sort of thing she should be storing in classroom though. I'd take that. You never know what you gotta eat. Collecting to buy a bouquet of flowers for our dear friend Suzume, who will be leaving us from school. Free 300 yen per person. And we're stepping out. Venturing out in search of others, you find that even the janitor has likely gone home. The lights are out and the halls are pitch black. Only the red glow of the light next to the fire extinguisher offers any respite from the quaint, don't quite darkness of the school hallway. Hallways in schools don't go out. Like, the lights don't go out. <laughs> Standing around in the darkened corridors of our school building at 8 in the evening just feels so surreal. It's... As the thunder and rain grow in intensity, the windows begin to condense, condensate with moisture, turning white in contrast to the corridor's sea of black. Is this reality? Was everything up until now just a dream? You're no. Where am I right now? What am I doing? What just happened? Shinazaki, what's wrong? Huh? 
What the hell is that? So where is it? Where where does that even come from? Why is it over Y? Damn it. It's you. Girl spirit. No. Why why is she here? Go back. Don't come any closer. Pant pant. Cause someone asked the girl. It was a It was a rainy evening after school just like this one. On the day I was kidnapped. I remember I had a fight with my mom that morning. You're like a seven year you're like a baby. What are you doing having fights with your mom? Why is she telling us this? I have no idea. <laughs> I didn't want to see her face. So after school I decided that instead of going home, I'd park myself in the outdoor walkway for a little and watch the rain. That's when Mr. Yoshikazu, oh, Yoshikazu showed up. He sat down next to me. I told him all about my fight with mom and he and he listened really closely and just kept saying uh-huh uh-huh he was sick and couldn't speak much you see but he was a very kind man I really liked him but then you two are nice people I'm so sorry She's so tiny, she must be 5th grader. Yuki Kano, right? Thank you for what you did back there. So what's happening now? For making the effort to help those of us who were killed in that school. I mean, obviously, because you're killing everyone else! We gotta help you! Didn't we succeed, though? So why are you still here? No, you didn't. But we returned your tongues. We gave you back your ability to speak out. You even got your murderer to repent for what he did. Is it just that you can't forgive him no matter what? Appeasing us isn't about forgiveness. It doesn't matter if we forgive or not. Repentance is between the criminal and the victim. It's the sole act capable of moving us. And we exist as fragments of the sacred ground upon which heavenly host is sealed. I believe that moving us is your I believe that moving us is your best course of action. On the, so because their bodies like are they there in the actual like building in real time is their bodies somewhere in the in the school but it's not enough his repentance just wasn't enough so you're saying his words the words spoken by the doll weren't good enough to appease you that's not that's what it sounds like what then? Why do you feel the need to trap one innocent stranger after another in the godforsaken place? You child spirits are the ones who summon us there, aren't you? That's not true. Yeah, how do you mean by that? We're just the cogs that hold the closed spaces together. But you, you killed Suzumoto, didn't you? You did. Wait, huh? Oh yeah, get mad! Get mad! Let's hear her out. Get mad. I'm just glad I was able to get even the two of you back to safety. Why the hell are you suddenly so concerned about us? I heard about a situation like this from my sister once. 
a lost soul whose life has ended violently and abruptly, leaving her with a mountain of worries and regrets. It's kind of like stopping short of, of, at the edge of madness, with all sorts of thoughts and feelings swirling around in your head. Your kindly, mature, your kindly nature and your sudden hatred and panic begin to spin around and around, and you just start acting out without any sort of control. Your sister is some kind of medium or something? <laughs> Yeah, something like that. So what you're saying is this little girl and the creepy little girl we met before are two sides of the same coin. I feel for you, I really do. So please, please bring the rest of them back. Mushida, Misui, and everyone else too. Bring them all back home. Come on, you can do it, right? I don't think that's possible anymore. Why not? Those closed spaces have eaten a lot of innocent souls. Far too many, in fact. Far too many, in fact. The grudges of those who died there have filled every last corner of them. There's no room left. And because the agony and pain has nowhere else to go, it's begun feeding on the minds of souls like us who are bound there. It won't be long before I turn back into a vengeful spirit who attacks people like you without mercy. Wow, that's crazy. So we're going to lose you as an ally then. So why don't you just hurry up and bring them home right now? Isn't there any way for us to save Moshida and the others? There may be one way. What is it? I think you already know. You have to return to the close spaces! <laughs> Find all four of us heavenly hosts. Serial kidnapping and murder victims. and put us all to rest then the closed spaces won't have their cause anymore so they'll begin to fall apart and you just might get your friends back what about us but we might get back to like I you expect us to go back and this time instead of just having one person left to appease. We have to go back to the drawing board and appease all four of you. Go back to the drawing board and appease all four of you. But didn't you do that already? We appeased, well we appeased all the girls. Yeah, so. Why couldn't you tell us the reason our previous efforts weren't good enough? What is there to hide? It's just something I don't want to remember, but if you really want to know, I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything that happened. I want to know. Yuki's spirit gently took hold of Yumi's hand, and in an instant, their two beings seemed to merge together in a single mind. What's, what's going on? Give it a minute, give it a minute. She's not hurting. Oh yeah, it's hurting, it's hurting. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. What happened to me? So why am I fully aware right now? I can't see a thing, I can't move. It's like, that feeling you get when you're really tired. Sleep paralysis, I think. I understand that. Buried. I'll be back here. The little girl in the red dress. 
and the only survivor of the hor horrific murders that occurred in Heavenly Host Elementary School. Sachiko Shinazaki. Following the incident, Sachiko's family fled from the area, moving to another prefecture to escape the frightful memories that remained here. Strangely, however, I've been unable to locate any other records of Shinazaki's family. No matter where I look, the only information I can find about them comes from newspaper reports on the Heavenly Host murders. Granted, when an elementary school becomes the stage for a grisly incident such as this, perpetrated by none other than the principal's own son, it stands to reason that the scandal would serve as the primary focus for public interest, with all other details fading into the background. So, of course, after learning, after learning that Sachiko was safe, further news of her whereabouts was largely ignored in favor of the media circus surrounding the school. But, there's more to it than there's more to it than that. People weren't just uninterested in learning of Sachiko's history or whereabouts. There was simply no data to be had. What the hell happened to Sachiko? I can't move my body because of sleep paralysis, I guess. But I can clearly see the room I'm in now. There's one boy and two girls in here aside from myself. I recognize them. They're the children who were killed in Heavenly House during that incident, but they're still alive. Fortunately, they're all bound hand and foot and just sprawled out on the floor, and so am I. That's the real reason I can't move. It's uh, it's it's a it's a it's a person. Hey, you me? Oh, that's right. He's suffering from a disease. He can't speak. No, stop! No, please stop. I, I, your eyes. You gonna take her eye? I can't see. Now I'm blindfolded. I can't see a thing that's happened to, happening to me. Okay. Yeah. That would make things worse. It's more intense. Ayumi over here like going through what the what the chick went through. That's crazy. I kept begging, pleading, but all I heard in response was a man walking away from me. And or there okay. I I don't see what's going on there. In order.
I'm not gonna lie. Bro here saying I've never heard screaming like this before. It's pure primal terror coming through the air like a perfect sine wave. It's the boy at the end. I'm not gonna lie. I felt that scream in my heart. Like that. Whoever acted that that right there did a really good job because even I felt bad for what just happened. <laughs> Feels like he's been screaming for an eternity. I think he's being killed right now. Oh yeah, that's when you can start panicking. Boy, I think that's him, right? He's speaking from his perspective. What the hell is he doing to him? No one is Why isn't God allowing him to fall unconscious? Why isn't God allowing him to fall unconscious so he doesn't have to suffer? Damn. a half an hour now. Those inhuman screams of a young boy being ripped apart from the inside have finally come to a halt. Without even a single moment of silence, the first of the girls in line is the next to scream for her. Life and the symphony goes on. I'm losing my mind. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Oh Is it still going on? Come on, just die already. Die already. God, what is wrong with me? You know I don't care. Just get it over with and leave me in peace. After hearing a sound like a heavy object being dropped, the noises stopped and the room grew quiet again. Those footsteps are getting closer. All my hair is standing on end at this point. Everything below my stomach feels like it's frozen, like I'm suddenly being stricken with severe diarrhea. God. Why am I relieved by the silence? The kid next to me just died. Which means it's my turn now. Oh my god. Someone's got me by the hair. They're pulling my head up. And taking off my blindfold. Which means I get to see the face of my killer. The four missing children were found in a basement room at Henley Host Elementary School, unused, unused and officially sealed since the building's construction. When authorities entered, they were greeted with an inhumanely horrific sight. Based upon the evidence at hand, the murder weapon was determined to be a pair of large sewing scissors found in the hands of the accused. Investigators suspected some hesitation on the man's part. However, as the deceased victim's wounds did not indicate that his full strength had been used, nonetheless, he had clearly acted with extreme malicious intent. So who's the chick with the hair? And the scissors are in that room. They're in the nurse. They're, they are in the nurse's office. 
公式発表では児童たちの死因は舌を切り取られたことによる失血死。The official cause of death for the three murdered children has been listed as loss of blood following removal of the tongue. It sounded like a lot worse was happening to a lot worse was happening to them rather than just getting their tongue cut. But the actual state of affairs was not quite so clinical nor even so pleasant. Yeah, they're not, they're, not, they're not putting that, those details in there. The details of the crime are based on the official police testimony of Sachiko Shinozaki herself. One was repeatedly stabbed in the abdomen with the aforementioned pair of scissors. Oh, aforementioned pair of scissors, like what was mentioned. Then had many of her internal organs forcefully dug out? Are you kidding me? She was gutted like a fish? His discarded innards were found partially buried beneath the earthen floor of the basement room? Another was stabbed in the head dozens upon dozens of times to such an extent that all flesh and bone above her jawline was essentially minced away. <clears throat> With my blindfold, with my blindfold removed, the sight that appeared before me was more horrific than anything I could possibly have imagined. The person staring back at me, bran branch. Brandishing a blood soaked pair of sewing scissors wasn't the large man from earlier after all. Or earlier at all. It was one of the children? It was a little girl, her face dyed red with the blood of her victims. What the what? Is it Sachiko? She was staring intently at me with soulless gray eyes, and then she just started giggling. That sounds just like the female in the in the in the room. In the, in the nurse's office. <laughs> Yoshikazu. Okay, cool, okay, cool. She was opening and closing the bloody scissors over and over again, and the sound kept echoing through the room. Then she took those dull, rusted, rust, these thoroughly blood soaked blades, and slowly brought them closer and closer to my left eye. <laughs> Yo. How? Why? Why is it you? The third victim was stabbed in the left eye an, inter an indeterminate number of times until her eyeball became soup like in consistency. She was eventually just left like that, slowly bleeding to death in the horrible agony.
Strangely, it was only after these mutilations had already been inflicted that the killer went back and severed the victim's tongues. Learning the truth about these proceedings is shocking even to me and makes it nearly impossible to accept the murder as anything but a monster. That's what I'm saying. How did she wit? I didn't know. I was thinking, like, how did she witness it if she left? Like, there's no way you would escape that if you were blindfolded and, you know, hands tied. And bearing witness to every moment of this was a seven year old girl named Sechiko. In many ways, she's the most pit. 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 pitiable? pitiable and long suffering of them all. But it was through her tearful, frightened testimony that Yushikazu Yanagiori was officially charged. So he did it. But wait, why did he kidnap them in the first place if he wasn't the one that actually killed them? Now, going back to the hunt for the information on this unfortunate girl's whereabouts, it was her words that ultimately led to Yushikazu Yushi <laughs> Therefore, it comes as no real surprise that sensitive information pertaining to her and her family would be withheld. That's to be expected. What's not expected, however, is that there's not even the slightest trace of this information left to find. It's as if it simply never existed. Therefore, I cannot help but consider alternate possible explanations, and I remind you this is mere conjecture. But one question keeps nagging at the back of my mind. Was Yushikazu Yanegori really the murderer of the three victims? Is it possible this crime was not actually perpetrated by him at all? Think about it. In his final days, Yushikazu was incapable of communicating with others through speech. And despite, despite his childlike reversions, he'd always been a personable and friendly man. As the saying goes, he wouldn't have heard a fly. True. All his relatives, friends, and neighbors confirmed as much. Shocked, shocked to hear that such a kindly man could commit these unconscious, unconscious, um, my words, unconscious, unconscious. I'm just gonna unconscionable atrocities. atrocities. He certainly had no motive for the crime either. There was nothing for him to gain from it. Then again, he simply had lost his mind. Look at his father. <laughs> it was around the same time that Principal Takamine Yanagori suddenly began speaking in tongues and acting in the most peculiar way. Did the principal and his son do something and run into something that caused him to get possessed or something? <clears throat> Not to mention scribbling incomprehensible gibberish all over his walls as if possessed. He, he seemed frightened of someone and would often be found crouching in the corner of his office moaning and thrashing. When visitors came if he if he could wind up in such a beleaguered state with no warning then perhaps so too could his son what did they go through I think they brought something into the world they shouldn't have I believe that we're looking at a curse far more powerful than anything man could devise from the time it opened its doors to the day it closed them forever. Heavenly Host Elementary School's sealed basement room has existed as some form of cursed ground. 
And to find the underlying cause, we must go back beyond the infamous kidnapping and murder incident. Back a whole 20 years. I believe I may have found a clue that could shed some light on the situation. It may be a bit far-fetched as, le as leads go, but it's a lead nonetheless. But regrettably, since Heavenly Host was not only closed down by demol but demolished altogether and another school built in its place, it's no longer possible to investigate the basement from room directly. But my protege has found what may be the next best thing. Something that could make the impossible possible once more. Preparations are being made to pursue this lead even now. Be sure, to, be sure not to miss the next installment. It may be the scoop of a lifetime. Kubiki 2003. Bro, was someone was investigating a lead? Who was it? Continue to chapter five. Wow. That's crazy. And he said protege. That's crazy. He's talking about the girl in the red dress. I don't Oh my goodness. Alrighty guys. That is it for the gameplay today. Boy, have we got some information today. If you made it this far in the video, bro, I'm so happy you stuck it out with me to, to get it this far. I'm sorry the vid is so long. I'm sorry it's got some boring parts in it. But it's just the information, like, you cannot skip over this if you want to know what's going on. So, but, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay, man. And I will see you next time. Peace.